Hey, Jaden, congratulations. Welcome to Charlotte. Uh, I'm Mike Kay, as Dylan just said, but I, I work for the Charlotte Observer. I cover you guys. Um, what was the call like when you got it? Um, I know you, you played five years at Mississippi State, but how how much does this mean to you after putting in all that time to get the call that you did? I mean, it means a lot, especially, you know, uh, as, as soon as I got the call, like I had a whole, like, you know, warm feeling in my body. And, and you know, it just shows that somebody watching me and, you know, I, I get to have a chance to go somewhere and, you know, play and, you know, prove what I can do and, you know, just show that I can do great things for a team. How would you describe your game? Do you see yourself as more of like a four eye five technique or do you see yourself as more of a nose tackle? Uh, most likely, like four eye, you know, nose tackle as well. And, you know, I can play a little bit on the outside. So, like, you know, anything that, uh, you know, the line coach wants me to do, then I'm, I'm going to do it. All right, let's go to David Newton, followed by Mike Lissette. Hey, Jaden, David Newton, ESPN.com. Congratulations. Uh, wanted to follow up on that. When I mean, they play a 3-4, obviously, how much have you played in a, the 3-4 scheme? And that's that's why I guess he was asking about where you fit most, if that would be that tackle or nose tackle or, or the, the end in that. Uh, so I really started playing it when uh, Coach Leach came, you know, to, the, to Mississippi State. And, I mean, I've just been – you know, just going on, going with every, everything that they was, you know, teaching us at the time. And I feel like I've done a great job so far. And, uh, like, I'm I'm just proud of my, uh, you know, my improvements over the years and, you know, being able to learn different things that, that I've seen and stuff like that. And, I mean, just feel like I, I've done an overall great job of, you know, just accepting it. As your strength, I mean, it seems like you get a really good push, too. Uh, would you consider that your strength? Yes, sir. And, and with that and, and like, you know, when it comes to run blocks, I'm um, good, you know, taking on double teams as well, you know, just to, you know, have one of the guys, one of the linebackers being able to stop a hole, you know, having two guys on me. I mean, it doesn't phase me. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, sir. Hey, Mike Lissette from Queen City, Charlotte Sports Live. Uh, you're 24 years old. I wish I could be 24 years old again. But, I mean, still, that that's an older rookie. How do you think your age will benefit you in terms of being mature enough to handle some of the challenges that, that await you in the NFL? I mean, I don't feel like it'll, uh, you know, give me any challenges, especially, you know, just continue to take care of my body like I do, and, you know, just continue to improve each and every day. And, I mean, it'll just all come with that and, you know, just continue to, you know, just progress my my ability to, you know, play the game of football. No, no, no. I meant like, how do you, you're, the fact that you're 24, how can that help you? The fact that you are mature and that you're older than most rookies. That's what I mean. Oh, most definitely. Uh, but I mean, it just give me a, uh, give me a better, you know, way of observing everything. I mean, I've been through a lot of different things and I've seen a, a lot of different, uh, you know, schemes and things like that. Uh, so I'll be able to recognize more things, you know, than others haven't seen it yet. And, you know, just gave me a, a lot of, uh, you know, time and, just like a lot of consideration of, you know, what I've seen, and it just helps me along the way. Thank you. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Right, let's go to Joe Person, followed by Chris Jenkins. Hey, Jaden. Uh, I'm with The Athletic. Thanks for doing this, and congratulations. Right. What did playing for four different head coaches, and I'm, I'm assuming four different position coaches and the whole bit, how did that impact your journey and what was the challenges of that and what maybe did you, you gain from it? Uh, I just feel like, uh, you know, having a good bit of D-line, four D-line coaches, uh, it just helped me, you know, be able to learn from, you know, different strategies that I, I was taught or, you know, just learn different playbooks and stuff like that. And, I mean, it just helps me, you know, prepare me for the NFL. You know, I'm just going to be coming in with rookie season and, you know, having a, you know, impact all, you know, different styles in the playbook. So it just helped me, you know, figure that out. And being able to learn from a different coach uh, almost each year, it just helped me as well, you know, being able to learn, you know, how they, how they, you know, coach, how they, you know, want things done. It just helped me overall. I also wanted to ask you too. You had what looked like an interesting graduate degree. What what was that again? And and could you get into that a little bit? Uh, so I graduated with industrial technology, and then I got my master's in workforce leadership, and uh, you know, just 
to, you know, help help people out or, you know, be able to coaching, uh, you know, teaching or anything like that if I want to. Uh, but mainly, like, with my, graduating with industrial technology, I want to go into, you know, doing uh, doing welding, is, especially like when I'm done, you know, with football. I want to be able to, you know, have my own, own business uh, and, you know, just go off of that. Coach Leach was a, a very, you know, unique, interesting, successful coach. I wondered what your best Mike Leach story is. Uh, the only one I have is when we went to SEC Media Day when we was on a plane and he just started going off rambling about a bear. And he was just talking about somebody being like, you know, just close to a bear and saying, if you see a bear, just get bigger than it. Just throw your jacket up or something like that. But, like, he was making all kinds of sounds and stuff, so it was really funny to me. But the other guys were sleeping. It just was funny to me. Did that ever come in useful? <laughs> nah, I ain't never been around a bear. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, Chris Jenkins with Charlotte Vibe. Welcome to the, uh, to the NFL, and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Also cool to talk to a, a native Mississippian, by the way. Yes, sir. <laughs> but uh, could you share with me what it means to you when you hear dog mentality and how you that may influence your play on the field? Uh, hearing dog mentality, you know, being being about that all the whole time I've been playing football is really, you know, being that grit and grindy, uh, you know, player that just want to make yourself better each and every uh, day, each and every play. Uh, like just going out there, like even when nobody else is, you know, just trying to be better each and every day. And just keeping the main focus on, you know, just wanting everything to be done the right way and just really being that hard, hard nosed, like baller, really. And, you know, just doing everything you can to help the team in any, any way that you can. And uh, just in brief, because uh, this is a shorter interview, but if you can, just talk about that journey that you've had to get to this point in your career. Uh, really, it all came from, uh, you know, I mean, honestly, Nobody really know my story of playing football, but I go ahead and tell y'all. Uh, so it came from mom got put over from uh, when I was in like fifth grade, and the, the 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 officer that pulled her over was you know he was a coach, and he just said uh, you know if you bring your son out there, then you know I won't give you a ticket, and then that's how my football career started, and you know I've been loving it ever since, and. It's just like when I got to college, it just started to, you know, harp on me that, you know, I was, I mean, I was in the room with a good bit of guys, you know, Jeffrey Samuel Montez Sweat and a couple other guys. And like, they was just, you know, making sure that I knew, you know, different things and they would teach me some different things. And like the next year, you know, I just put it all in perspective that, you know, I could be like them one day or, you know, even better. So that's, that's how my, how my story went. And, and if I could just, what, what about you made him invite you to, to playing football? <laughs> um really uh my my size like I, I've always been a big kid and uh you know just taller than all the other guys and like when I was when I was younger then then he just looked over he said he thought I was in high school but I was I was only in fifth grade so that's how my story started hey thanks again look forward to meeting you look forward to meeting you too let's go to Cassidy Hill Hey, Jaden, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, you mentioned being in a room with the guys like Jeffrey Simmons, Montez Sweat. Now you're about to be in a room with Derek Brown, Ashawn Robinson. Um, I think Derek, especially, you played in the SEC the same time as him for a little while. Yeah. Uh, what what have you what do you kind of know about these two guys and, and what you might can pick up from them as well? Uh, I really don't know much uh, about the guys that's there right now. But, uh, I mean, I'm all about learning from, you know, different players and, you know, I know that they'll take me out of their wing and, you know, just to make sure that I, I know what I'm doing, you know, uh, teach me different things. I mean, I'm good with, you know, just learning anything in any way. Uh, I mean, I, I love to help as well as, like, if if I feel like I, you know, know what I'm doing, I'm going to still take some uh, help because it, you, you can never be the best. And it, it all comes with preparation and work. Any more questions for Jaden? Thanks, Jaden. Thank you.